Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're gonna continue building up our cities with resources and materials. And so in this episode, we're gonna try something which I think will work, which is taking uh, grain from this farm sending it by boat to this food processing plant and then just having the boat go right across the river to drop it off here where it'll get shipped into Huntsville. So this way we'll only have one line um, and it'll be a triangle so that we don't need to set up multiple lines. You know, there's no point in having a ship travel like 20 feet across the river just to ship food. We can have the food that brings the grain make a quick stop here and drop off any food that's currently waiting at this food processing plant. So we're going to see how this goes, see if it ends up being profitable and what we can sort of do with that. So we'll place down a harbor somewhere where it's connected to this industry and also where it's not sort of too much in the way so I think putting it over here sort of behind the farm it doesn't stick out too far into the river that'll probably be our best option. So then we need to do the same thing over here. Just add a cargo harbor. And here I think we're going to terraform a little bit, turn up the strength and the size and flatten out a little cove here for the boats to come into. So we'll smooth up this edge, made a bit softer. There we go. That's starting to look a lot better. And now that we have that, we should hopefully be able to fit it in here. Not too sure why it's not connecting. All right, so I got this to connect up. I think it was just some weird thing with the different elevations, but now we can see when we click this, this is highlighted, so that means they are connected. And now all we should need to do is select the boat we want. We'll go with two boats. This is a very short line, even for a boat, so should be able to handle this just fine. And so I don't think we need to do anything special with the loading and unloading sort of commands for these boats. I think they'll just be able to handle themselves. So now we want to build a truck unload stop right in the middle of where all this food is needed. So I think right here on this street, that'll be sort of the best spot. And then we can get a couple of trucks that will be able to ship it right into the city. All right, so now we just got to sort of wait and see if this farm will recognize the line and start putting some grain at this harbor. 
here's our boots. We're moving pretty slow. But they should get there at some point. Okay, so we have our boats in here now. They're just going to keep going around. And we'll come back later and check up on it in this episode. And see if we get food getting produced here and getting sent over to Huntsville. Okay, so after looking around the map for a little bit, trying to figure out what we should do next, I came around to this area and noticed that our tools factory is not really producing at the highest output that it could be. Um, we see a lot of the shipment is really low, which is limiting its potential for production. And so I think what we could do is get another train line coming out of the station, going to another city that needs tools. And I think probably the next most reasonable city would be Knoxville. It's on about the same elevation, so there wouldn't be much change and it's probably about the easiest to get to from where this station is located so we're just going to come in to knoxville and place down a cargo station we'll plop this down right about here We got rid of a few buildings, but that's okay. And the hope is we can bring the track sort of this way around Toledo, or maybe even under it going through this mountain. So now we have to come in here and configure this station. that add a cargo platform on this side and then we just have to add some tracks to connect them all right so we have our line coming out of this tools factory and heading all the way over to Knoxville so now what we can do is start to build the train that we want. And we did just unlock this train, the Alco PA. It's very cheap, very fast. Um, it doesn't really carry a lot. So I don't know if it's necessarily worth it to use it for carrying tools. I do think that it's relatively flat, but we'll look around and compare this to some other trains and I'll come back when I figure out the kind of train that we'll use. All right, so here is our train. We did end up going with the Alco PA. Um, I really like this train. I think it's a very beautiful train. I think its intended use is for passenger traffic, but this line is fairly flat, so I don't think it'll have an issue running like this. And we have seven boxcars behind it to carry the tools. We bought two of them because this line is a little bit long, and we will space them out once this one gets on its way. But quickly, before that happens, we can add our truck station and our truck stop to put it right where we need it for all of the tools. And then 
all we have to do is find the road depot, find the truck that can carry tools, and I think we'll we'll go back to these trucks because these red ones don't have anything that can carry tools. And then we'll add a stop there, and then the other one in Knoxville. And now already, before this train has even picked up any tools, we can see that this tools factory is already starting to upgrade. So hopefully it'll then be able to meet the demand of both of these lines. We might need to figure out a way to get more planks here at some point if we can't fulfill that demand but I think this is a going to be a successful line for us so now we should go and check up on that boat line that we made at the beginning of this episode and see if it's working so if we come here it looks like the grain is starting to come in this farm looks like it did recently upgrade. I don't know if we'll be if this is going to be very efficient because it seems like it's shipping most of its grain to this t uh, truck stop here. But maybe it'll start to shift after a little bit. And we can obviously see we have some food piling up here. This processing plant is doing work for us. And if we click here, we should see Huntsville is starting to receive some food. So that's going to be all for this episode. We'll keep an eye on this line through the coming episodes and make sure we aren't falling short on grain. But that's pretty much going to be it. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.